Dan Adam, and this is my 1995 Toyota Camry Coupe. Today we're going to be doing a little bit of maintenance on it. A new headlight needs to go in here. Uh, this is a replacement headlight, but it broke, and you can see I kind of used a little bit of this ghetto engineering down here to keep it. Now, that, we'll take that out later. A piece of cardboard holds it up, but you can see it doesn't stay. It just falls. So we can't aim the headlights, and that's no good. we got to change that. Second thing we're going to do, I recently had a fuel pressure regulator here. This uh, little part here broke, and what that did is it dumped fuel into the intake manifold, and that basically flooded the engine and it ran rich, and my oil needs to be changed. Right now we're going to start on the front headlight. In order to get that out, we need to remove the following bolts. We have one here on top of the driver's side headlight, one here on the passenger headlight. We have a Phillips head screw over here in the corner, which is going to pop this corner light out. And we also have this 10 millimeter up here on the fender. So we're gonna need a few tools to take this apart. Actually, just two. We're gonna need a Phillips head screwdriver. You're going to need a ratchet. You can fit whatever drive you want in there. You're going to need an extension. I'm using a short one. And you're gonna need a 10 millimeter bolt. Now, fuck! Yeah, jeez. So now that we've lost one 10 millimeter for the day, um, that's why it's always a good thing to have a spare. And I didn't mention this earlier, you're gonna want gloves for this, especially in an older car. You don't know what you're gonna come up against. Dirt, rime, bugs, cats. So first thing you're gonna wanna do is there's a Phillips head screw here. You're going to take that out. Okay, so there's one, it's real small and uh, easy to lose. So what I usually do is I like to put them in the order that I took them out of. So put them down here for now. I take this part out, so it's gonna pull forward, okay? And out, and then pull it over, push this little tab in, and pull. So now we have access to all of our bolts that we need. So we'll start with the one up here in the corner. Make sure it's going the right way. And that fell right out. Okay, there's one, put that there, it's black. Second one we're gonna take out is back in here, it's a nut in the back corner. Just loosen it up. So once it's out, there it is. Put it down here with the rest of them so that we know those go on that side where we gotta take off this front. Front piece comes off here. And this one here. One, and two, put those down here in the middle because we know that's where they go. This part lifts straight up and off. We've got one here. Okay, don't drop the bolt. One more, put that there. God damn it. Oh, shit. Oh, we got lucky. Let's put that there. That's smaller than the other ones. So you've got those two for the center. We've got the um, middle part. That's the top next to the fender. Then there's the nut and then the little tiny itty bitty screw. So the way this comes out is it lifts forward like that and then you pull straight back. And sometimes this thing gets stuck in here. out it comes. Now I have already replaced my headlights once with LEDs so you just twist them and pull if they're not made like shit like these are. There you go there's one and there's two and hopefully this one. There we go. So we have this out. So now you can dispose of your headlight and put your new one in. So let's go get the new one and we'll put it together. Got our new headlight here. We're gonna put the bulbs in and then try to get everything back together the way that it came out of the car. So take your first bulb. Now, if you don't have LEDs, they're not gonna be this long, but I'm lucky. I do have LEDs, so they are this long. There we go. Now, you have to thread this little piece here, this little bolt area. That needs to go in 
and through that hole. Now when it goes through that hole, this top piece here needs to stay on top. In a line. All right, that's in. And the reason this is back in here with the big gap and the other one doesn't have it, this isn't adjusted yet. We're gonna put it in and then adjust it accordingly. So we'll take this one on the side here first. And what I'll do is I'll put it inside of my little socket piece and then thread it onto the stud. Don't tighten anything down all the way yet. We just want to put it in loosely so that we can move the rest of the bolts around. Because if you move this thing in here loose, if you tighten it up, then you can't wiggle the rest of this around and get it to where you... And I just kicked the bolts. Everywhere out of order. So... This will be a guessing game to put back. Um, there's two that are the same for the middle. Those can go... Those can... Those can... <laughs> Always use a tray, kids. So put those in there. Right where I'll forget about it and close the hood on it later. Loosely tighten that down. Now we're gonna go to, see this is the this is the shit right here. Yeah. Ooh. No, I had to snap it. This these never come right ever. All you're basically doing up here is just getting this part tightened around a little corner of this light. It, it never works right, ever. This one with the little collar goes down here because it's a big piece of plastic. Yeah, it does. That goes in that hole. And switch this over. Again, we're gonna get it down there so that it starts to bite and then leave it loose. And I am smelling dog shit from the trash can next door. And there are the dogs. Okay, we've got this one here that does not have a collar on it. That goes in through this hole here and it should be really fun. This is the one that I dropped earlier and it actually mounts to the horn, believe it or not, which is kind of strange. Pray that it catches because this thing isn't catching. Because why would it line up? Little motherfucker. Got it. It's in there. It's in there. All right. So now that we have all of those bolts in, we can tighten everything else down. We'll start over here and work our way toward the corner of the car. And we'll go over here. And I think these are supposed to be torqued down to like 19 inch pounds or something crazy. It's light like that. So do not over tighten. This thing popped out. So I guess I never really had it in there. So if that happens, we just... Back this bolt right out, bottom one, shake it around a little bit. I think I just dropped that one too. There we go. Now that's on there nice and tight. All right. Continue with my instructions if you dare. Should not hear any snaps like you heard earlier. Now this one up here in the corner. There it is. There we go. So it's on there, good and tight. Give it a shake. One bolt over here corner. You might hear a couple of pops as this thing gets pulled through the hole. I put the corner light back on. So this, plug it back in until you hear it snap. There's the snap. And this little nipple goes into this hole here. And this nipple goes into that hole. And kind of line it up like that. And then struggle with it a little bit. There it is. Push and push, and finally it's in. That fits back in with this Phillips head screw, and okay, we're almost done. Then we have to aim it. We'll do that last mm -hmm. after we're done with the other crap. And if anyone changes this and doesn't aim their headlights, you're a fucking moron. I mean, can you believe that? Look at the gap here. It's just gonna point at traffic on the other side. These little teeth right here are gonna go into this hole here that hole there and as you can see this is a different manufacturer totally different totally different hole we're going to line it up very carefully very carefully and push it's not going to clip it's just going to kind of sit in there one goes on this side one fits in here these you want to do by hand and then turn like a quarter or an eighth of a turn with your ratchet because otherwise you can crack this panel and it's not a cheap panel and I'm sure the Toyota only makes it in gray and then you got to take it to some body shop and have them spray and it won't match the rest of the car and you'll be all pissed off. Quarter of a turn, quarter of a turn, and we're done with this part.
the little adjuster thingy is, oh, that's good. It's like right here. I can't even, I can't even fucking see it. Fuck. Why is it not? Didn't. And that's number two. There it goes. So what I'm doing right now is we're pulling the light forward so that it's flush with the bumper here, which will also aim it that way toward the street signs and other things I like illuminated. Yeah, we'll go from there. Let's move on to the oil change. So for the oil change, we're gonna need an M102A. We're gonna use a Mobile One filter because why not? It's an old car. It's the best. I use synthetic, full synthetic. This is a 5W30. It's Arizona, but it's a little cool out now, so I bought this Motul on Amazon. I change it every 5,000 miles or so, like it says in the manual. 14 millimeter socket, an extension, torque wrench that has a, I just, I broke it, so I just use it as a breaker bar to get that oil plug off. If I can't, I can't get the drain plug off, and then a, whatever the hell this thing is, I don't know, it's like $5 at the store. So we have to get those bolts out, and since we're doing the oil anyway, I figure it's a good time to take this off and replace it, because this is, I mean, you can see it's cracked, it's, it's totally shot. Nothing's being held in here correctly. So we're gonna go here, 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 here. On top of here, there's two clips. We can't see them, but it's there. Then there's one, there should be one there, there should be one over here. One, two, same on the other side. So, and there's one, two in the back here as well. So we're gonna take all that off. We're gonna drop this down. Yeah, having a lift is a good thing. Mm -hmm. We don't have one. So, you know what? The five people that are gonna watch this in the comments, you need something like, you need a lift, go fuck yourself. <laughs> something just fell right in my mouth. Yeah, normally you wear eye goggles. Yeah, well, we live dangerously here. All right, and that would be the final one. <sighs> Put that part off. And it's still stuck up there, so we want That's the one for my oil filter. Why I stopped buying those filters because I couldn't find my tool and I want to buy a new one. Anything else gonna hit me in the fucking face? Cool. Okay. Yeah, maybe I do need a lift to do this. It's just falling right in my mouth. This is the worst. Put a shirt on like you're Al Qaeda. I could. I need my bak balakava la la la. Your baklava? baklava. Delicious. Balakava? Now, everything you see on this channel can be purchased on Amazon for like next to nothing, including every part that you've seen today. Cool. Oh no. Last bolt came out. Carefully. The front one comes out too. You pull it forward. Without incident. There's little clips that are on here that need to come off. These little guys. All right. Out we go. Oh, there's shit all over me, dude. Look at this. See all that? Every time you change the oil, that happens. So, anyway, all right. So I gotta get back. I really don't want to get down there again. I just touched my face, didn't I? That. So that's all the shit that hit you in the face. Oh, and this one. Yep. <laughs> this was in my fucking car. All of these. This one especially, because this was really expensive. I bought that a long time ago to take off. I used to use K&N filters that wrench off, but um, yeah, I thought I had lost that one someplace. They just kind of rested up against this cross member here. Snap this one. Nope. Aha! It's in. Mm. That replaces that. So this one can go. And this one over here. And if you need one of these, that's what it is. All right, oil change time. There is a 14 millimeter bolt. Drain bolt, which is right there. Can you see everything? Uh-huh, so when you take that off, you're not gonna get you know hit with oil, are you? Not immediately, no. Oh, do you have the thing ready just in case? I sure do. Position the oil pan accordingly, and loosen it up. 
You want to keep your hand on this bolt because if you drop it in there, that's the end of it. Yeah. All right. And now it looks burned, but it's synthetic and it probably has a ton of fuel from when the regulator went out. And where do you dispose of this oil? We take it over to a, an auto parts store. By auto parts store, I probably need my trash So you, you don't like pour that down the sink or no, on your no, neighbor's no, 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 rose no, no, bush no. or anything? No, you put it into the bottle and then you throw the bottle out. No, I mean, you take the bottle down to your <laughs> favorite recycler. Any auto parts store, it's free. They'll dispose of it for free. And once we're done draining this and we pour it back into the bottle, what we're gonna see is, uh, we can see how much oil this thing has burned off in 3,000 miles. I'm gonna take a sample of it and we're gonna send it away and get it tested to see if this engine is uh, still running good after 200,000 miles. So what you're gonna do for this Camry, because it's really, really stupid, let me get the light so you can see what's stupid about the way they designed this engine. That, this is gonna be the oil filter. And when you empty that oil, or take it out, it's got oil still in it. It doesn't matter how long you let it drain for, it's just gonna have oil. But right below it, see that bolt? Mm -hmm. And that nice rubber thing? That rubber thing is your front engine mount that is rather delicate for some reason in these cars. So every time you get it wet, it dries that rubber out a little bit and a little bit and a little bit until it just snaps. So what we're gonna do to protect that is take our, get yourself a trash bag here. Your engine can't be really hot with this or this will melt to the uh, exhaust manifold. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna place it down into the... That's a good idea. Yeah. Thanks, Chris Fix. Make sure you spray it with soapy water. Yeah, I got my water. And I need blue gloves. Oh. So what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna take this. Yeah, you can't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, that's in there. So what we're gonna do is get your hand in there. There's no way to fit a tool in here correctly. At least none that I have. And then we're gonna kind of twist it by hand. Yeah. You see it right there? Yeah. So we're gonna take this off. Once you feel it come off, tip it over so it doesn't spill any more out. And lift up carefully. It's a boy! <laughs> and we'll put it down here where the fuck I forgot to put the move the goddamn. So ideally you would put the, the bucket underneath what I just did. <laughs> Now I'm gonna have to lay where that is. Here, I'll show you what I'm gonna do next. This is something that those guys at the oil change place won't do. So we wanna clean down in here. See that oil sitting there? They just leave that oil and then it burns off and it stinks. Mm. You wanna get any kind of gasket material off of this? Pack it with paper towels. And you can see, look at all the rust down there from all the old coolant that's kind of come out over the years. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hi. What can I do you for? Nothing. I just came out to see if you needed more water or anything. Get your paper towel or some soapy water. Look at that. See all this? All this oil back here is from that... St people changing the oil for 10 years or however long without doing what I did. So what you want to do is get this thing tight not crazy tight once it stops right there you want to turn another quarter of a turn or eighth of a turn there it is and now that's set you know if you over tighten that bolt you'll strip it so you want to make sure it's not loose but you don't want it to be super duper tight yeah it's really thin from the fuel leaking into it look see there's bubbles in it and... that would be really bad for your pants so don't drop that <laughs> and shoes now i can't pull my pants up because my hands are always like <laughs> The new filter, take a finger, oil, you just clean her dirty. Just want to get this outside gasket here nice and wet. Like my prom date wasn't. Because we're only going to hand tighten it. We're not going to tighten it down with a wrench like cane end filters do. We've gone to full trash can now. We have a trash can on site in the studio. And I missed it. Right. And oil filter goes back on the same way. Screw it in. And now when you get it in here tight, turn it another quarter turn or so by hand. Don't go any more than that. You go any more than that and then you're not going to be able to get it off. Here we've got our, this takes five quarts or just about five quarts. So we're going to start to fill her up. You got a funnel in there? Um, no, I don't have a funnel. E yeah, you should. We're going to do this the best way I know how, which is kind of shitty. Maybe we should get a funnel. You should get a funnel. Let me go see if I got a funnel. I have to use the one my mom uses. Oh, and it just splashed in my face. I put it down. Oh, and you can't wipe either. So 
This is a really good workout for the traps. I don't think I even have traps. I haven't had traps in years. The funnel's taking its sweet time, huh? It's for Downy, it's not for this. Like the funnel can tell the difference. Here we're going to put the front cover back on. There are four clips on the inside here. One, two, three, four. But since I broke one of the clips on here, and I'll have to get one from someplace, good luck finding that name. They name it something weird, too. It'll be like radiator suppository clip or something like that. B. B. Yes. Okay, and then this one. As one goes on, one pops off. There it is whatever the hell that thing is, undercarriage cover. I can't tell which way this goes though. If it goes inside like that or outside like, I think it goes outside like that. Of all the things, this is the hardest one, really, of all the fucking things. Mm -hmm. Ugh. It's not even going in. All this is all held up, this is tight. Other than that, I think we're pretty much done. Except for tightening that down. I'm gonna replace this bolt with one of the new ones now that I know what the secret to getting it in is. And what was that secret? Cutting away the plastic that doesn't fit. Oh. The way they made this was not the best mold, so I got what I paid for. Maybe you wanna get it from someplace that is reputable and not Amazon for 10 bucks. Oh yeah. Funny bro. That's gonna do it here. We got our headlights in, we've got our motor oil done, we've got the bottom plate fixed. And uh, with that, I say, cue the douche music. Stop, stop, stop the music. Just stop. We're done. We're done.